Hello there. How are you? This is May's Design Corner, and I am trying to get all my fall decor pictures up while I have time. I have a little time, and I'm trying to do uh, uh, catch up on some of my um, fall decor before I have to go back into uh, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm going to just take you around my living room to let you see how I have decorated it for fall. Now, first, we're going to go up to my draperies. I changed them out. I took away the red and put in the orange uh, draperies to uh, make it look like fall. And I'm panning around so you can see what I did with the draperies. Now, I did this quick, fast, and in a hurry. So you may see some things just out of uh, fashion, but I can't stay too long on any videos. I'm trying to just put some videos out so I won't mess, mess up so much time. So this is one of the sitting areas in my uh, living room here. Now these pillows here are were made from the napkins that I got from, I think there's a tapestry napkins that we got from um, Dollar Tree last year. And I just opened the back of them and stuffed them. And y'all, let me tell you, I stuffed those pillows with shredded paper. Yes, I did. You know, the paper shreds that come from your shredder, that's exactly what I stuffed them with. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. And then here, I put a throw on the back of the sofa there. I have a throw there and another pillow. And you've seen these pillows here that says, no Christian has ever been called to take their walk of faith alone. God does not make us do anything alone. He always helps us and encourages us in the word. And that's just my china cabinet over there, my curio, I call it, you know. Uh, I'm old school, and I say names that you young people do not say anymore, but it's a curio cabinet for me. And then here I have a picture that I hauled from Hobby Lobby over 12 years ago when they had these pictures uh, on sale, and they went down to 90% uh, off. I have two greens and a blue one that I hauled back then, and this is a DIY here. This is a DIY. I just set that there in my mirror. And then up here, I have Hello Pumpkin. This is my mother-in-law. Both of these pictures here. And we have our TV up there. And bless our home here. And this is my dad with some of his grands and great-grand. And this is my dad's mother, my uh, grandmother. She's uh, half Italian, half black. And this is a Give Thanks um, sign that I haul from Roses. And then underneath this, near my fireplace, I have Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes. And this is my small fireplace. I have it decorated just a little bit. And I have my sign, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And this one says, Pray, Pray and pray without ceasing and this is my other seating area here which one of my pillows had tumbled over let me pick that up if you if i'm moving around i'm picking up a pillow okay <laughs> it tumbled over so this is how i decorated this side over here I have a throw across it with my pillows that I stuff with shred, shredded paper um, out of my shredding machine. So this is what this holding net. And here is my uh, table here in my uh, living area. And I have it decorated as well. I have my floor arrangements here. And here is my box floor arrangement. You know, my son gave me these boxes some while ago, and I've been using them to do a lot of things with. There you go. I'm going to, there you go. Open that up so you can see that one. And this is my living area decorated for 
the fall. Here's my chair over here. It's decorated with a throw and a pillar as well. So this is what my living area looked like decorated for the fall. And over on the side wall here, I have a table here that's decorated as well, but it has my usual things on. I have my love here. He passed away. My picture there and my faith uh, pictures there. And my DIY Bible that I made about a year and a half ago. That's my husband's sign. It says pastor because he was a pastor. And that's a box that I decorated. One of those boxes that my son gave me that I decorated. Decorated it. And this is my husband here. My honey bunny. My honey baloney. Yes. And this is a picture of me here. And I got my angels there too as well. This is May's Design Corner saying thank you so very much for looking at my fall living area. I really do appreciate you and thank you so very much for always coming and viewing my decor. I am on a hiatus right now and I'm trying to film all of my fall decor so I can get it out before fall really leaves. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to do this fast, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Maybe going too quick, but I only have a small amount of time to do this and I have to get back to doing what I normally do. This is a wreath that I made and I put right here on the door leading from the living area to the dining area. And I'm going to show you the other half of my shelf where my TV is. This is the end portion of my um, shelf where my TV is. And I have my mother here. And before, right in front of my mother is a sign that talks about mom and give thanks. And this is our oldest daughter right here. Uh, in her picture, <clears throat> I thank you again so, so, so very much for looking at my fall living area. I hope it gives you some ideas as the colors you can use in your living area. I love the way my living area turned out. I really, really, truly do. I am old school, and that's the way I decorate because I believe that a home should be decorated to one's own taste, not for the taste or the mood for, for the season. I decorate the way that I feel and that I want to decorate, not the way that somebody else thinks I should. Oh, and did you see my man up there? It says, yes, we did. That's Obama. And I put, yes, we did. The picture up there of him on that. And I have pictures all around my wall because, you know, I have a large family, have pictures everywhere. When you come into my home, you see pictures on the wall, on the floor, on the curio, on the desk, everywhere you will see pictures because I have grandchildren and children. And this is another wreath that I made here for the fall, and I hung it on this door against a gold background. Now, that gold came from the Dollar Tree. It's just a tablecloth that I um, taped on my um, on the door and then just put my wreath up on the door. Again, I would like to say thank you so very much. Stay prayed up, y'all. It's imperative that you stay prayed up. Lord have mercy, please stay prayed up. And don't forget to pray for someone else besides yourself. And remember, this is God's world, and there ain't nothing you can do about it but live in it and love it. <laughs> and I love it and trust God with everything you got. That's all we can do. Thank you so very much for coming with me to see my living area. Prayer changes things, y'all. Don't forget that. There's nothing too hard that God can't handle. This is May's Design Corner saying I love you with a passion. God bless you. And y'all, prayer really works. 
Adieu.